mean, it's a special night because for me, more than anything, this day 15 years ago really signified professional soccer back in our great city of Chicago. Ante, we're here at the uh, 15th anniversary event. Can you tell us a little bit about what it means for you to come back to Chicago and uh, be a part of this event? Uh, it's a fantastic event. Uh, I'm seeing all the old guys, the old fans, the uh, and just the support and the pride and and really what it means to have been a Chicago Fire player. It's, it's great for me, you know. I'm very happy to come back to Chicago because from the beginning I love that city. For me, it's nice the city in the USA, and I spent three very nice years here. First of all, say thanks to uh, Section 8 for putting an event like this. You know, I think that uh, it's not easy, and uh, for them uh, to do something like this and bring, you know, all, all, all fire players and the current ones is just uh, really, really nice. It, it's amazing, you know, to just see the the tradition of. You know, the, the past teams, the past players that are here, their passion still, and, and how much all of this means to them. Um, you know, it, it inspires me to, to really take advantage of this time here and, and, and gives me a good perspective on where we are and that we should really take advantage of our opportunity. This is one of the best events. This is probably the best event I've ever been to with Chicago Fire. It's bringing back our history with our, our current team, and, and it's right after we get into the playoffs for the first time in, in a couple years and it's just it's it it's a great event and I hope it sends us on to glory this year. To the current team, listen guys, we're, we're behind you. We're behind the coach organization, the team captain. We know it's not easy but go for it and leave it out there as as Franco will tell you. Good luck to you guys. Springsteen calls it the ties that bind. Hold your glasses high to the Chicago Fire and the ties that bind. What makes it special to, to put on the fire jersey and represent the city of Chicago? Uh, I mean, tonight just shows why. You know, um, it, it's, it's like a fraternity, you know, a lot of guys that that really care for each other and, and the bonds that are made between players and coaches and, and staff and it's just uh, it's just something that this city seems to really be behind and support and you can see with the support tonight. Well from the minute we got here the city welcomed us with open arms and we're real that was a great that was a great feeling and from that moment we didn't want to let the city down. We didn't want to let our fans down. They were so supportive and we had dinner last night a lot of the other guys and one of the I guess key things we all remember is, yeah, we had talent, we all had ability, we all went on to do great things, but the locker room, how great it was in the locker room, how you competed each day, and uh, just the never quit mentality, man. It was, the locker room was awesome. And I went on to play on a few teams, some of the other guys went on to play a few teams after the fire, and we all agreed it was not even close, not even close off the fire. The club trusted me, they invested in me, and you know, the one thing, you know, the, uh, you see players kissing badges every now and then. The only badge I ever kiss was the fire badge, you know, and I've, I've gotten uh, questions about that at the other clubs I played at, and they said you could only have one home team, and Chicago's my home team. More than anything, you know, for me, I wanted to thank really people from the past, you know, that really got us to the point 15 years ago and where we are today.